Now we're going to have a look at the camera dial. Most camera dials are the same. There may be some cosmetic differences, but the settings are fairly identical. The first setting we look at is the auto setting. When selected, this will set aperture, shutter speed and ISO. It is usually the only selection on the dial that will include the ISO setting. Auto will give you what it says, fully automatic exposure. And if you select auto focus, then the camera will do everything for you. You just point and press. The next setting is P for program. This will set the aperture and the shutter speed, but will allow you to select the ISO. This is convenient when you want to ensure that you get as much clarity in your images as possible. You would choose, say, a low ISO and then let the camera adjust accordingly. This will give you the best clarity. The third setting is S for shutter priority. You would use this setting when you want to select a shutter speed yourself. Typical uses would be to set a fast speed for sports or a very slow speed to intentionally blur movement. Sometimes this can read TV instead of S for shutter priority. We now move on to the fourth setting, A for aperture priority. Or again, in some cameras, it may say AV. You use this setting when you wish to select the aperture yourself to give you shallow depth of field, which is very little in focus, or long depth of field, a lot of the image in focus. Of course, in both these modes, S and A, you can also select the ISO yourself. We'll talk a little more about how you set the ISO manually later on. Then we come to M for manual. Here you select everything, ISO, shutter and aperture. With a bit of practice and with the help of your camera's light meter, you can quite quickly master the manual setting. It is something you should try to get the hang of, as it will give you greater control over your images. Don't forget, unlike film cameras, shooting digital costs nothing. So experiment. Finally, we come to the symbols on the dial. The first symbol is usually that of a movie camera, and this allows you to select movie mode. It works in movie mode, similar to the fully auto mode. In other words, it selects everything. Next, you may have a half moon and star shape. This will set the camera for night shots. This is followed by the runner, or a picture of an athlete, which is another way of selecting shutter priority. Then you have a symbol of a mountain range. This sets the camera for landscapes. And finally, you have a head, which selects the portrait mode.